What's up guys? This is Tony Shu, and today we're going to talk about the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott collab in the British khaki colorway. Let's get it, YouTube. This is a very, very exciting review for me. I've been waiting for this thing for, it seems like weeks now. Sometimes, you know, when you get a sneaker on sneakers, it says it's shipped and then it doesn't really ship. It just sits there in the ship status for like days on end. That happened to me for about what seems like uh, five or six days. It said ship, but it didn't really ship. Finally, one week later, I saw that it actually made some progress. So this is one of those Nike boxes that are um, you know all about the environment. You actually see right here on the, the front of the box, we are offsetting 100% of the carbon emissions for the shipment, which is nice. You, know, you see that they do make an effort here and there to you know reduce the carbon footprint, go with the recycled paper, make things a little bit easier for us. On honestly, even to just open the box, as you can see up here, this little rip tab, which a lot of the companies out there now, I think, N does it um, in Europe but um, Ama Manera does it sometimes. A few of these companies are doing these nice packaging boxes to make it easier for you to open, make it so that it reduces the carbon footprint, recycled paper, all that good stuff. So open up the tab and didn't really open. So open up the tab here and slide my finger up to open up the box. Easy enough. And then uh, if you wanted to return it, they should have a little adhesive here so you can rip the adhesive off, plug it back open, closed, and then send it back out. So it's kind of cool. I won't be returning these sneakers, but it's nice to have. At this point now, I'm sure you guys have already seen a bunch of reviews on this sneaker. You've seen it everywhere. You have our friends that have gotten already. Here we are. We have the Jordan 6 Retro SP in British khaki slash bright crimson. Here's the box. Take a look at the label. That is a size 12, which is about a half size small for me, which for me works great because Jordan 6s tend to run a little big. So I'll let you know how that fits later on. In terms of the box, it's a typical Jordan 6 box, uh, flap open. Obviously you have the British khaki color on the box itself, which is a very, very nice touch. You got the flight man up top. You got the Cactus Jack symbol right here. Sickle mode head. Um, Overall, pretty, pretty nice, clean looking box. Feels good. First thing you see is, which I've seen them, a lot of people have already gotten, they have the drawstring bag, which is a nice touch. Um, most people, I can't imagine actually use these drawstring bags anymore, but here it is. You got the Flight Man, Jump Man on one, and you got the Cactus Jack um, lettering there on the other side. Again, in the khaki, British khaki colorway, which is cool. Um, I haven't probably used a drawstring bag since I was probably in high school, but nice to have. Gives you a little bit more of that value considering the hefty price tag on this uh, sneaker. The retailing is like 250 Kind of expensive for any any sneaker, not, not just Jordan, but any sneaker at all. So it's nice to have a little bit extra on top of that, which again, like, like I said before, kind of goes with the box, the overall stack of everything else. It makes it feel like, you know what, this is probably a little bit more worth it. And then when you open up the actual box, here we go. Huh. This is interesting. Let's take a look. Sale. 
So, initial impressions right out of the gate. When you look at the actual suede on this sneaker, it is extremely hairy. Very, very long hair um, suede that comes off. But actually, let me go ahead and see if I can zoom in if you guys can take, take a little peek. It's extremely hairy. I mean, you can literally see them, every single individual strand kind of come out of the sneaker. It's so hairy. You know, isn't this a bad thing? Honestly, for me, I don't love that it's super, super, super hairy, uh, but it does feel like a really, really nice texture. Let's just go over the shoe real quick. Um, on the lateral side, you got mostly suede all throughout. Um, you have kind of like a little rubber plastic feel on the midsole here. You got the glow in the dark hits on the outsole as well as parts of the midsole. When you um, go over up here near the ankle, you got the stash pocket, which is cool. You got the little um, sicko, sicko head. And then you got the orange, orange lace lock, which is cool. Already it comes with kind of like a, like a clear translucent one, but you can switch it out if you want. And then that one, the stash pocket actually closes with a butt. The heel, you get the Nike Air on the heel and you get the glow in the dark um, heel tab or heel loop. More in the glow in the dark here at the top of the tongue, which is kind of cool. And then on the medial side, you have another stash pocket looks like. Let's take a look and open it up. Yep, just another basic stash pocket with a zipper instead of a button, um, which, you know, it, it, it's neat, I guess. Um, I don't know if it's necessary to have multiple stash pockets. I don't know how many people are actually using these stash pockets. Do you guys ever using these stash pockets? I know there's a lot of the other, the other Travis Scott's, they always have stash pockets, you know, inside the ankle, um, inside the collars. I've never used it before. I don't know about you guys. Drop a comment below. More of the same, you get the glow in the dark, the rubberized um, plastic midsole, sickle head, and then on the bottom, the outsole, same thing. More of the glow in the dark. And then you get the orange Jumpman, Travis Scott logos and writing all over the bottom. Uh, tongue here, you have a lot of canvas to go with the, with the new buck, which is a nice contrast. And it's obviously a darker color than the regular um, suede. And the inside of the insole says Cactus Jack, just like all the other ones do with the same color patterns. And it looks like it's kind of like a double layer on the uh, tongue. So you can tell this is definitely higher quality premium materials um, overall. Can't really lie to you. I like the olive one a lot better. I think it's just more of a wearable color. The khaki color is nice. It probably goes okay with jeans or blue jeans or black jeans. It's really kind of strikes me more as like a fall sneaker, um, maybe like an October, Halloween sneaker. Not really something I would wear right now, but who knows? Maybe maybe I'll put it on with some shorts on. See how that looks. Um, but the glow in the dark feature is pretty cool, as you guys saw before. Um, for the b-roll it's a nice hit i'm not sure how excited i am about glowing in the dark on my sneakers but just cool to have i guess you know if i were to rate this sneaker probably wouldn't rate it you know super super high definitely not you know my sneaker of the year by any means i definitely like the alma Maneers better i like definitely like the hyper you know royals better there's a bunch of sneakers that i like better uh, this year so far than this one however this one obviously super super hype Everything Travis Scott touches turns to gold. Um, so, you know, nice sneaker. I'll probably wear it eventually in the fall time. Nothing right now at all. So, also the other sneaker, you guys got a few different types of laces. On the actual sneaker itself, it's already laced with that little light khaki color. You also get spare laces in the darker brown, which is what the, you know, same colors you get in the tongue. And then you have the bright orange one, which honestly, I like a lot better. I, when I wear it, I'm probably gonna go with the bright orange. I think that's a really, really nice contrast because the colors are so neutral, so muted on the whole sneaker that it's nice to have these little hits of the bright orange to give a little bit more pop, give a little more excitement. Um, definitely, definitely the bright orange. What do you guys think? Which color would you wanna go with? The air bubble in here, you can tell it's also the bright orange. So with that, the little hits you have here on the heel, the jump man throwing that orange lace it's gonna make it real really pop so I like that a lot actually 
with that, with that out of the way, let's get to the on foot. What do you guys think of this sneaker? Is this a sneaker of the year for you guys? For me, I already told you, I don't see this sneaker of the year. I don't even see this as one of the top two or three sneakers so far as of uh, today, which is, I think it's May 14th or something like that. So for me, like it, don't know if I love it. Definitely don't have to have it, but will I keep it? Probably, it's a really nice sneaker. Am I going crazy here? by kind of downplaying the sneaker, saying it's not the best sneaker of the year. I know a lot of people are crazy about anything Travis Scott touches. For me, the Jordan 1s I have from Travis Scott, way better. Probably the best one in my opinion, followed by probably Jordan 4, which I still would love to have, but at that price tag, there's no way I'm ever gonna have it, so. Um, this sneaker, still nice, love to have it. I'm not gonna complain about it, but for me, not a must have. Thank you for watching guys today. I appreciate you tuning in for another video. Again, if you like the video, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe. Until next time guys, see ya.